Hello, people. Merry Christmas. I'm just kind of laying around right now. Took my bath and everything and just got to get dressed. I mean, put my bottoms on. So I just got on the LuLaRoe Carly dress that I'm a knot at the bottom in my uh, some black uh, canopy jeans from Fashion Over and my Yeezys. That's my jewelry for today. I put my big ring on. Y'all know this was my Christmas gift for my husband. This hand chain and rose gold. Uh, we had a good Christmas morning. My husband uh, fixed breakfast. Um, uh, we got my daughter some Ugg slippers uh, for Christmas. We're going to take my two sons shopping tomorrow. We got my oldest son an iPhone 11. Actually, funny story with that. Um... I got my oldest son an iPhone 11. He was using a a Samsung a Samsung S4. <laughs> we do not upgrade our kids unless we have to. Mm -mm. So anyway, he needed a new phone, and my husband was like, "Go ahead and get him one." My son is 22. I just want to put that out there. But anyway, um, so. I decided for my husband's personal phone, because he has a business phone and a personal phone, that I would upgrade him because dude was using, let me show y'all what he was using. Okay, he took it. But him and my son both had an old phone. My son had a um, Samsung S4. And they had, what, the S11 now? 10 plus now? I don't know. And my husband had, y'all, wait for it. He had a Blackberry from like 2000, maybe 9, <laughs> 10. That thing was so old. I think it was the Blackberry Bold. <laughs> and he said he would get laughed at about that phone all the time. He said one girl said to him, she had that phone before she was in uh seventh grade <laughs> so it was definitely time for him to upgrade his his business phone is an iphone so i figured i'd go ahead and get him an iphone but i got my son just a regular iphone 11 and i got my husband the iphone uh, max pro pro max whatever it is the biggest one and so um Going back, I left the bag downstairs in my dining room and my nosy kids looked in the bag and so it was two iPhones. So my 17 year old thought it thought it one was for him. And then my daughter told my husband, uh, mom got two iPhones. And I didn't know till today. So he already knew that it was two iPhones. He just didn't know who the other iPhone was for. Until I started handing out the bags. And he was like, Ryan already told me it was an iPhone. I was so mad at her. Anyway, my son saw it was, he had the smallest iPhone, which was just the iPhone 11. And that his dad had the iPhone Pro Max, Max Pro. And so the first thing he said is, Dad, can we switch? So I said, no, um, you know, I got that for my husband as a gift for me and my husband got his iPhone for him as a gift. I said, no, that's my gift to, you know, him. And he just kept asking and asking. And my 17 year old was like, um, I thought I was getting upgraded and not. We just got his phone fixed the last year. He has an iPhone 7 plus and he broke the screen. So we got his screen fixed. Um last year but that boy begged and begged so i told my husband i said if you want to switch with him go ahead and switch the thing was was that when i paid for it i didn't have now you don't have to open up the box they don't have to activate it in the store you can activate it at home so what they do is they scan the um i guess the barcode to the number that's being upgraded 
So we had to call Verizon today. We was probably on the phone for about 30 minutes because um, she had to go into the computer and, you know, change the numbers. We changed out the SIM cards. We switched the SIM cards in the phone, but she had to go into the computer and make sure it was switch or switch it over to. And then um, we had to go through the setup act um, on the phone uh, just to get it to the regular screen. And I was like, that's why I didn't want to switch it because I knew this was going to be, you know, crazy. So, um, yeah, so we, you know, me and my daughter was sitting up there, you know, she was helping me. I was on the phone and she, while I was on the phone with the lady, once she would get one up and going, I would take that one and she would get the next one. And, you know, we was just, and the young lady was so sweet. You know, with Verizon, she had to work today. She got off at five. I like good customer service. She was very good. And, um, you know, she just sat there and went through the motions with us. So they got their phone switched. But because they both of their phones are dinosaurs, um, only thing that switched over for my husband was his voicemails and some text messages. But we have to go to the store to see if we could get his contacts because they don't have the Verizon transfer app. I have the Verizon transfer app, but see, I came from a Samsung 8, I think it was, because I have the 10 plus now. Yeah, so I came from a Samsung 8, so my phone was pretty recent, but my daughter was like, um oh yeah they have to download the apps for apple okay i gotta tell them that so we we gotta see but you still might have to hook the phones up together like i said that those phones are dinosaurs um my son's phone may be able to do it i'm not sure but i know that uh blackberry bold probably ain't gonna be able to do nothing without going to the store but I forgot they probably got to download the app, the Verizon Transfer app. Whereas, you know, with Samsung, they put all of that stuff already on the phone. Or maybe they have to download it too. I don't know. But, yeah, I forgot about that. They probably could go into the app store and download it. But, yeah, that was our Christmas. So, just kind of hanging out. We're going to dinner tonight. Uh, we have reservations for 7 o'clock dinner. And uh, that's that. So I hope everybody had a wonderful Christmas. And um, I'm going to get out of here. That's my Christmas story. So y'all be safe. Don't be out in them streets acting crazy tomorrow in them stores because you know even though people say Black Friday and Cyber Monday, Monday is the biggest shopping holiday. No, it ain't. It's um, the day after Christmas when everybody be returning them gifts. <laughs> Trying to get something that they really want. Or taking stuff back. Uh, whatever. So in a lot of stores, I just want to touch on this too before I go. On the news, um, they were saying a lot of stores are are changing their return policies for Christmas because they don't want that junk back. You bought it. It's yours. You keep it. <laughs> they giving you like two weeks, whereas before some days, some stores gave you like 30 days, 90 days, 60 days. They like, look, you got seven days <laughs> and we don't even want to give you that. Some of them probably saying uh, exchange or credit only. <laughs> They don't want that mess back. They said you keep it. But anywho, I'm going to get out of here. So y'all be safe. And until next time. Peace.